It's Ryan and today I'm going to talk to you guys about two of my favorite things. Two of my favorite things? I don't know about that. Two things that I have a weird interest in. Uh, coffee and startup digital companies. Right now I'm walking through the Jingrong Innovation Hub. It's a series of buildings. All, all these buildings surrounding me here, they're offices for potential startups. I, don't, I think it's maybe like 10% full right now. It's a relatively new building, a new thing that they're, they're trying to do here. But the idea is to get people to come here to, to start their startups. To start their startups? What is, what is a startup exactly? I guess it's to start their mobile apps and other uh, technical, digital type things. I'm definitely not a business guy. I am not good with numbers at all. I'm not donkey brained, but but I did read a study. Actually, I half read an article written by a guy who read a study and it said that on average the cost for a first time user to create an account via an app is $8.21. So they have to spend $8.21 on marketing to get one person to sign up for their app, which is a pretty big number. It's a pretty big investment for a new company, an app to start up. So you're thinking, I thought this video was about fucking coffee. Well, actually it's about Lucking Coffee, the fastest growing coffee chain in China. Lucking Coffee or Ru Xing Cafe in Chinese, it started in October 2017. Not too long ago at all, about a year and a half ago. And it was founded by a woman who had some experience in with some digital startup, some app, I can't remember which one, they sold something online. And she wanted to kind of mesh those two things, the digital world and coffee. And so the majority of their locations are in office towers like this, in the lobbies. They usually have small booths, nothing major. A few places have sit down like seats you can actually sit in, but the majority of their sales come through online orders through delivery or pickup. Last December, they received $200 million in investments and that put their valuation up to $2 billion, $2 billion in just 14 months. That's pretty, pretty crazy. And they're growing still. Uh, every day it seems to have a new place opening up. They have about 2,000 locations now. That puts them at the number two spot for their coffee chains in China. Number one is Starbucks, uh, but it's estimated that by the end of next year they'll surpass Starbucks. Uh, they're hoping, I think, to hit around 3,500 shops, and Starbucks has about 3,000 right now. Their strategy was pretty simple. They don't take cash at all. All their orders come through their app. Even if you just show up at the place, you gotta order through the app. And um, they offer a free coffee when you sign up, when you download the app and sign up for it, you get a free cup of coffee. If you share the app, then, uh, then you get half price on a second cup of coffee, another cup of coffee for half price. Um, so it's a viral marketing strategy and it worked really, really well for them. People sharing it on WeChat like crazy and it just, it kind of forced it to become like a hot thing, like a popular uh, trendy thing to do is to have this coffee. This guy's drinking Starbucks. Starbucks. So instead of focusing on selling coffee, they focused on getting people to download their app, getting users of, on their app. And if you think about it, the customer accusation cost, the, the uh, amount it costs to get one new customer is the price of a cup of coffee, which is about $3 there. And that's, that's low compared to so many other companies. And it also gets people to sample their product. Coffee, highly addictive. I think it's a, a brilliant move. And it's in a market that's wide open. Uh, China doesn't really drink much coffee. They prefer tea. The consumption per capita in a year. <laughs> I mean, guess, guess how many, many cups of coffee per capita is consumed in China. I can tell you right now that Canada is around 600, 600 per person in Canada. Uh, in China, it's five to six. So that's a big, big market, big, huge number of people not drinking coffee. Uh, so that's why Starbucks is pushing so hard to, to get their product into the country. There, and that's why Luckin is booming. When I'm traveling in China, I actually bought one of those portable espresso machines because I was having such a hard time finding coffee when I was traveling outside of cities uh, and I needed that caffeine fix so I got my own little espresso pump machine thing and it 
but uh, it was a good investment because in China I drink coffee if I don't make it at home in one of three places. In the first place, the low end is in fact 7-Eleven. Uh, they started selling coffee here a little while ago, I think. And you can see by the sign here, cost is for a, the cost is a single cup of Americano is about six kwai. It is six kwai, six kwai, six RMB. It's like a US dollar approximately. That's as cheap as you're going to get in China. Um, the next step up would be the fast food places, McDonald's, KFC, pretty much just those. And that's you're looking at. I would say two to three, I think it's about 10 kwai, 10 RMB for a cup of coffee at McDonald's. And it's decent decent enough. Um, I, I usually stick to 7-Eleven because I'm a cheap bastard. Crossing the road, watch out for this guy, he's got three wheels. I would say the 7 Eleven's fine for a quick, quick, quick uh, caffeine fix. And McDonald's is the second best option for price I would I would say KFC, not quite as good, but there are more KFCs in China, so sometimes if I'm in a city and I can't find coffee, then I just go to the KFC. Colonel, doing it up. Chicken flavored coffee, not really. Next step up would be the Starbucks, the, uh, what is it, Costa, Costa. Me and my friends have a debate over whether it's called Costa or Costa coffee. And there's a few other places, but those you're looking at $5 for a cup of Americano just a shot of espresso and water. It's too much for my blood. I, I won't spend it because I just think it's, it's not worth it. I can make a better cup at home. Now Luckin Coffee, it's, it sits in a pretty good price point actually. It's between the fast food and the Starbucks. So, I mean, in Canada, in North America, I'm, I'm sure, um, it's all about getting that caffeine fix. You want that cup of coffee because you want you're just addicted to it. You want that you want that caffeine hit. In China, it's more prestigious. It's more of a trendy kind of thing. Um, so people don't want to go to the fast food places for their coffee. They don't want to go to the 7-Eleven. They want like a Starbucks type thing. Which over poles. That's a hefty load there. I'm going to take a step back from that. Uh, anyway. So, um, so I think Luckin has hit a pretty good price point and it's affordable because Starbucks really isn't for the average Chinese person. Um, yeah, so that's, that's part of their success. Also, they're Chinese owned. Chinese owned is important in China. Um, you know, it helps in a lot of different ways. People are patriotic here. They want to buy Chinese products and uh, especially with the, the whole trade embargo thing going on. Um, people got a little bit more patriotic towards their products here and that's when Luckin kind of slid right in. So it's good timing there. And also the whole buying coffee online thing is is pretty cool. They are uh, distracted by Korean barbecue. Uh, the Chinese love to buy things like through delivery, through online, like buying it through an app on their phone. It's like the main way people shop here, really. Uh, maybe not the number one, maybe just going in and paying, uh, but you're still paying on your phone, like 80% of the time. So it's not like a difficult transition for them. Okay, last thing. Last thing is, how does it taste? How does Luckin Coffee compare to the 7-Elevens, the McDonald's, and the Starbucks? 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 Multiple Starbucks's Starbucks. 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 Starbucks? Starbucks. So I'm sitting here next to my new girlfriend. This guy's looking at me funny. Let's open the app up and it starts me on my home here. I can choose pickup or delivery. It's in English because I set it to English. I've, I signed up for it yesterday, so I just basically had to put in my phone number and, and um, I can change it over to English. It's not fully English, but it makes it a little bit easier. If I click on the characters next to pickup or delivery, uh, it will list all the places that are close to me where I might want to pick them up. It's going to automatically find the closest one to me, so it's 31 meters away. Um, you can see there's 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine locations within a kilometer. And I'm gonna go order now, and I'm going to go with the Americano. There's a list of different ones, all my options here, mochas, caramel mochiata, mochiato, uh, lattes, vanilla, there's different types of tea, there's juice, there's even some food. But I just want the Americano for 21 RMB. And then I can choose the size, which is only one size. Choose hot or cold. And I'm not sure what that stuff means, but probably don't need it. So I'm going to add it to my cart. It says it's going to cost 21, but when I hit checkout, it has a discount 21 because it's my first cup. It gives me a time up here. Three minutes from now it'll be ready for pickup and all I have to do is hit checkout. What was that? Okay, I guess that's it. And then it gives me a QR code. I better go get that coffee. Oh, it smells really good in here. So I have my QR code here. And I have this machine here to scan it on, I suppose. Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. You can hear that ding, and then the machine goes. That's people ordering coffee. Okay. Thank you. It's a pretty big cup of coffee, actually. There's no choice for the sizes, just the large only. Um, and it is hot on the hand. I, I have this thing about criticizing coffee receptacles, cups, and um, lids. I'm totally into coffee lids. You know, the best coffee lid to me. Um, yeah, I like the McDonald's. I'm not a huge fan of coffee sleeves which I imagine they probably have, but I don't usually get them because I think it's for wusses because people are like, oh, I'm burning my hand. Well, yeah, I'm burning my hand too, but I'm being a man about it. And this is, how, this is how you become a man, right? You drink coffee and you burn your hand. So I, I kind of went, was expecting to go through the whole pay thing and I forgot that it's a free cup so I didn't have to pay, but it's, uh, the, the app is all hooked up to my WeChat, so if I want to buy a cup of coffee, I just go through the WeChat and pay through WeChat. Um, you can also hook it up to Alipay, I believe. I th I'm not actually sure about that. Don't quote me on that one. It's way too hot. It's good. It's not bad. I mean, whoop. What happened to my camera there? It went a little limp. Uh, oh, it's hot on the hand. The cup could be a little bit thicker. Coffee is good. No, no sugar in it. And usually I take a little bit of sugar in my coffee. Um, I forgot to do that, but it's still pretty good. I don't really need the sugar, which is a good sign. Um, yeah, I think it's decent. It's, it's definitely better than 7-Eleven. Definitely better than the Mick Cafe. That's nice. And this thing is so clutch. Look at this. Don't want it there? You ready to drink? Pop it into that hole. Okay. My camera's obviously getting tired and I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk with my coffee and enjoy my day. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This guy. We got the garbage ladies coming by right now. But uh, next video will be out sooner than, rather than later because I'm gonna start pumping them out faster now. I got more time on my hand. I am gonna be taking a trip to Xi'an. Xi'an, awesome food there. So I'll do at least one video there. I, I don't have too much time there. And uh, some other little trips, I'm gonna try to do more traveling around China because it's a really cool place and I'm not gonna be here forever. So. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Make sure you hit the 
thumbs. Throw me a comment. What's your favorite coffee? Because I'm kind of obsessed with it. And are you a Starbucks person? Are you cheap coffee? Do you like the um, Tim Hortons Canada represent? Tim Hortons coming to China. That's how big the coffee industry is getting in China. Uh, at least they hope. So we'll see. Uh, there's a bee coming at me, so I'm gonna go. I'll say bye. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Pray for good health. One day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake. Texas ever hunting in the bank. Not a superhero, I'm safe. Look at my face. Look at my grace. Don't match up, no love. Fucking hate.